All right. Thank you, everyone. This is Mikhail Supreme from 90 Day Anime Studios. And I'm here today uh, sponsored by the Elmont Memorial Library, where I'm going to be doing the Summer Reads Tales of Tales, where I'm going to be showing how to do animal character designs. Uh, as you can see so far on the screen here, I have been um, doing a little warm up session uh, right now. And um, I actually am using references, believe it or not. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to show you how you can create your own animal design character by using references. Now, I am uh, an artist, of course, and a graphic artist and a freelancer. And um, sometimes I get clients where they they will contact me for commissions, let's say. And um, I have my own comic book line where I sell post my own comic book, just plays Leisure of the Firing Fist and among others. And um, I do freelance to it, so I get hired to uh, work on a storybook that someone may have in mind or just character designs, just period. So they can uh, have something in mind of to show their creativity of what kind of designs they wanna go in that kind of direction. So, in that case, if you uh, am a young artist inspired to uh, create your own stories or looking to be in the art industry, this will be the great workshop that you will need. And I do recommend um, paying close attention to uh, the little fine details and the tips of trade that I will be showing you today. How to um, start a drawing by using utilizing shapes and simple uh, line work to detail. And I have a couple of samples of um, characters that, you know, well, I should say animals, I should say. Uh, I have a, a bear, cat, eagle, and lion character that I was looking to work with. And I was going to add some human character traits to them as like, say that, you know, for instance, uh, for example, uh, you know, like the Zootopia, uh, Disney Zootopia, and also uh, for another like, example, uh, you can say, um, uh, let me see here, what else is a good example? Uh, you can say something like, you know, with the new Space Jam 2 they have with the Looney Tunes, you know, um, they don't look, they look like animals, but they have a lot of human traits. Like you look at like uh, Porky Pig and Daffy Duck, you know, they talk and walk just like humans. They walk on two fours, uh, two feet, pardon. So, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to uh, choose an animal. Let's see here, what will be a good animal? And uh, what I'm also going to have, I have a couple of character traits that may work that I'm going to fuse with the animal characters, which um, for, for instance, let me see it. Let's do this. I am going to choose a lion. That's going to be pretty fun. Let's go ahead and choose a lion. All right, there we go. We have a line. And then um, let me go and choose some kind of human character trait that I want to see and utilize into this character. Let's use um, like a big CEO businessman or something like that. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, let's see. All right, all right, let me see. Let me see if I could, I have another one here that I wanted to use. Let's see, it's not coming up for some reason. Give me just a moment, technology folks, what can I tell you? Let me open up to here. In just one minute, thank you for your patience. All right, there we go. Whew, all right, that was like pulling teeth for a minute. 
All right. So yeah, I was gonna. Uh, I'm gonna use a mail line, and um, I'm going to uh, use this CEO character here as uh, as references. It's always good to use references, folks. Uh, when you use references, um, it it helps you a lot in the making of. Uh, you don't have to worry about losing that fine details that you may lose um, when you when you finish your drawing. All right. So for for one thing, let's start with uh, a circle like I always do. I always have to work with a circle. I'm gonna look at the line as well. Let me see, it kinda of has like the same kind of head tilt with the male character in his business suit. So that'll work out very fine. So I'm gonna go ahead, start with a circle like so. And then I'm going to put in the center line down the middle there and then this right here, around here will be the nose. And uh, right here, that will be for the eyes. I'm going to um, work on the chin area here. It's good to um, use references so you can make sure that you have the right character traits um, and um, line detail that, you know, that, that will obviously look like the line character that I'm trying to create. And um, I have um, been uh, dealing with clients uh, before where it happens, so happens that they'll ask me if I can uh, draw a certain character, like say like, uh, um, like for instance, like a ninja or anything like that or a samurai. And it's, you know, it's, it's good to have something to look at like you know when it comes to like drawing like certain culture traits it's good to have like to do your research and uh, make sure that you know uh, you're actually following it to the t there you got his hands in his pockets going to uh, go look in a little bit further onto the line here. All right. This right here will be the, the, the surface for the eyes. Whoops, this eye is way too far away. So I just want to fix that. Now you could do the same thing too on, onto the screen there. You can look at uh, the, the pictures that I have on the screen and see if you can create your own CEO line character. Kind of reminds me, and I'm gonna be showing my age on, there was a TV show on Disney called um, Tailspin that actually used the, um, the, the animal characters from the Jungle Book. <laughs> and this kind of remind me of that, uh, where, you know, the, they had the tiger that was, um, that was in, uh, in the jungle book. And, uh, he, you know, it, and he was like some big CEO type character, probably it's consciously, maybe that's why I chose to do a lion for this kind of trait. I had, I have other, um, character traits that I have in mind. So, um, but I don't know, something like this seems to work well with this. You know, he's king of the jungle. So why not in the modern world, he's basically uh, big boss, CEO, multimillionaire, high tech, maybe the CEO of the Amazon company. <laughs> Let's see here. Now his big um, fur there is going to be blocking most of the, the, uh, the tie and whatnot, but that's no matter. That's fine. I want to look at the reference here real quick. You know, got the color there. as the, the pocket here. Now, all these things here, all I'm basically doing is 
I'm just laying out the foundation and um, just making sure that everything that I need fits on the page before I add the necessary details. Matter of fact, you know what? I have a better idea on this next hand. Instead of doing it this way here, it's just talking to me. What I'm going to do I'm going to have them hold a, a mug of coffee here. And I'm going to write boss <laughs> on the mug there. All right. Now, of course, everything here is basically uh, of course, it's fast sketched, you know. Um, I'm not putting any definition or uh, refined lines. Just yet there. Let's see here. All right. What I'm going to do now is I'm going just going to um, shrink this down a little bit. Because I want to add the tail there and anything else that I might want to there we go yes this is usually the process uh, when you know I'm dealing with a client and you know they want me to draw them uh, something, I this is how I do it. I do it very lightly on the page. Do like a fast sketch. All right, so we go. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just going to refine the lines just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do next is, just load the, the, pass, the, um, the opacity of this, add a layer. And just to let you guys know, you could be doing this at home as well on a piece of paper and pencils and pens and whatnot. I'm just working off a digital tablet. I'm working off a Wacom Syntec 12 series, which is a 12 uh, inch screen. And uh, I find this works very well uh, for while I'm doing these kind of demonstrations. Uh, so you can actually see the reference and that I'm actually using. So now I'm going to uh, start uh, refining the line just a little bit. Let's go here. Go a little bit darker. That's this little piece here with the eyes. Now, if uh, the CEO of this company, you know, like if in real life was aligned, I think uh, I'll be worried if, the, if I got him uh, mad on uh, doing a very bad job. So like if he's ever seen the, um, the Disney's Zootopia and whatnot, you know, they had like predators, you know, they will start uh, acting out and, uh, you know, and, that's not good. I don't want to get eaten for doing a bad job. Go and call me in the office for a lunch meeting. I'll be saying, no, thank you. <laughs> Send me an email. <laughs> That's what I'll be saying. Tag here. All right.
There we go. And uh, since he's a big time CEO, of course, he's going to have his hair slicked back. You know, he's not rough in the in the in the in the roughage. Mm -hmm. You know, so you could be doing the same thing, but you don't have to do the same drawing that I'm doing. I mean, if you want to use like a different position uh, pose, I should say, you can you can do that. If you want to use a different hairstyle, you want to make his hair wild, you can do that as well. I mean, it's there is no limitation to your imagination. Have a little bang sticking out from there. Look at that. Or maybe he's a maybe he's a, a nice line, you know. You know, maybe he's you know it's very kind, very wise. That's why he has his company, um, you know, successful as it is, because he knows the business and he knows how it works and things like that. Gonna go ahead, work on that jacket. This is his tie. I'm gonna put like a little buckle there. Nice business suit. Can you go like Johnson? How are you doing today? Working hard? Great, good to hear. How's the kids? Are they getting fat and plump for me? <laughs> That's a joke there, Jonathan. Don't, don't not worry. I'm not looking to eat your kids. <laughs> My wife does all the shopping. <laughs> well, because you know, um, you know, in the Lion Kingdom, the, the females are the hunters. So I'll put like a couple of cufflinks there. And that's his jacket there. That's his pocket. That's his buckle. Pocket there. Let's work on that mug. I'm all right, boss. With dollar signs. The opening with some steam coming out. That's his hand. Put a nice long. Claw there, not claw, but it's long nails. There we go. And then don't forget the tail. We look get the reference here. There we go. So it could be just a little bit longer. Oops, don't want to hit that. Let me see all right. If you have any questions, you could just write in the chat there. Or here we go. Let's get rid of the, the on the leaf sketch. 
There you go. And there is our CEO, Ryan. I could probably add like a whisper or two. There we go. Now, if I was doing a different position or like a different pose, like showing his back or whatever, I think what I would have done is like give him like a little ponytail out of that bushy, uh, bushy brow. Um, um, I know, I know there's a term for the line around the, around the head there, but I can't think of it right now, but I would have put up like a ponytail somewhere there. You know, he's, he's a uh, very modern. There we go. Boss. So there you go. So, so just by utilizing these two references of a CEO and uh, a line there, I had curated a line CEO character, like say in this world, you know, uh, you know, in a world of animals, you know, uh, this guy could be basically like, uh, you know, uh, you know, just one of the sub characters you know, of the main character, you know what I mean? And, uh, you know, you could say that you have like, uh, let me see, let me throw out just a random uh, character. Let's just say like, um, like uh, like a hippopotamus, uh, this is gonna be very random. You know, uh, he's trying to make it out there and he's in this uh, new high tech business corporation and his boss is a lion and he's trying to reach the top and get promotions and things like that. So, you know, so there you go. And then I will present this, you know, as a rough draft really, to be honest, uh, to my client and they will tell me if they like it and they do and I'll just make more uh, clean detail lines and, or um, modifications if need be, um, if, um, to make it a lot more cleaner and then color it and stuff like that. So there you go. So on that note, I'm going to work on another character. Let's just get say goodbye to the CEO line. And I'm going to choose another character. Um, let's, you know, I was working on a, on a cat late, um, yeah, I was working on a cat drawing before and um, I think I want to draw a cat. So let me go ahead and choose another reference here. All right, let's see here. But this time let's do a female uh, cat. All right, and then what I'm gonna do next is that say that they want this uh, female cat to be uh, a librarian, <laughs> right? So, no, let's not do that one. That's so stereotypical. If it was a, let me see. All right, I think I got a better reference. Sometimes it takes some time to find the right picture that fits. Yeah, that looks nice. Working, uh, trying to put away those books. There we go. So I have, yeah, so I have uh, in the same story where they have a CEO cat and a hippopotamus character, or maybe a sloth, or maybe a sloth is probably better, but I don't have a sloth reference, but I'm just throwing ideas out of say, for instance, someone had um, an idea for a, a, a children's book or uh, you know something you know for YA, and they want me to uh, work on this kind of storyline with you know animals in this alternate world of Earth. So I'm going to use these two references to uh, create my new character. Let's see if uh, let's see how we do. All right. So of course, I always do is I start with a circle. And um, the good thing about this reference is that it's kind of the same, yeah, kind of the same um, angle uh, on the turn of the head. It's not forward frontal or a full side view. So that works out best for me. So let me go ahead and do that circle. All right. Let 
Let me look at the pose that I'll be working with. Now, this right here will be like her rib cage in a way. This will be her shoulder. No, it's the arms a little bit out. Yeah, I gotta hold hold those books. These will be the books. Notice how that I'm utilizing shapes to uh, hopefully give myself a powerful outcome finish. Probably have the elbow here. All right. That'll be the collar. This will be the lower body. That'll be her other hand. All right. So, so far so good. I'm going to uh, add a tail. Like so. All right. So I have this. Now I'm going to try to add some animal traits onto this character I just created. And I'm going to add the eyes first, right on this line that I created for the eyes. All right, and then right here would be for the nose. Bouncing off from the center circle, I'm going to add where the mouth will be. And I just realized I did a line, now I'm doing a cat. So I may have to, on the next uh, demonstration, I definitely would have to um, get away from the feline animals for a moment. And uh, with my next demonstration, I'll promise to use uh, something different. All right, this will be. Yeah, you know, gotta make sure it's kind of realistic. Gotta add like the fur. All right. So notice how I'm I'm you can add the reference and trying to see where all the hair, things like that will work out for me. I may not use all of it or I probably will. And then she has a couple of um, May not use that with oh you know I don't know I never really like whiskers on female character uh, female cat characters you know I may or may not use that and then she she has like this pink um, ribbon around around her neck so I may do that let's see how that works out in my my drawing. Now let's look at uh, um, the, the next reference here. And she has glasses, so yeah, let's definitely use that.
Yeah, all libraries must have glasses. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Well, seriously, a lot of wear glasses. <laughs> I know I work at a library. And I work, and I even I have glasses, so amazing. All right. So right now, all I'm doing is just adding just a couple of line sketches here. Um, let's see here. Just trying to make sure that I don't have the arms proportionally right. And then so there's the sleeve. That's the paw. All right. And then these are going to be the books. Look at that, see how things are coming together. Now I have the books going the other way, but uh, you know, I've seen the reference. Yeah, I did it differently, but I, I like it. I like this here. I like this better. And let's see here. That'll be the side. There we go. All right, and of course, again, you don't have to draw exactly what I'm drawing here. If you want to, you know, do a different pose or if you want to um, do a different style, do it in your own style. Don't try and copy me. Do it in your own style, see how you like it and whatnot. And, you know, but what I'm showing you here is that what no, a lot of artists do is when they do character designs and, um, you know, these are the main stages, as you can see here, I sketched it out very, uh, very carefully, you know, again, starting with a circle and then I basically just use a couple of shapes to uh, manifest uh, what I want out of the drawing here. Uh, you know what I'm going to do next is I want to, let me just tilt this a little bit because she's kind of leaning back a little bit. Lean back, lean back. Let's see. Let me just tilt that a little bit there. There we go. And then I made another layer. And then now I'm going to just, you know, start refining lines a little bit to get a better um, detailed image of what we have here. So let's get started. I'm going to start with the glasses first. to let me look at the other reference with the eyes there we go
going to write down with the mouth. Now, obviously, the arms to the glasses would go over the ears, but you know, in this case, that's that's not worried about you know logic. This is, <laughs> we're talking about a, a, a cartoon anime cat who's a as a librarian. Okay, so don't worry about it. Gotta make sure you know show some kind of texture with the hair. So I want to add a couple of lines. Here's this, just a couple of lines here. There we go. Let me fix this eye a little bit. And then she got the scarf here. Notice how I'm looking at the ruffles of the of the, of the outfit. Because don't forget, there's a body in here, so you want to make sure that you um, make a note of that. You don't want to make it look like 2D. for the paper, and then let's both the pages.
All right, I'm gonna continue here with the hands. Little claws. And then, whoops, nah, I didn't like how that came out. I'm gonna start here on top. There we go. All right. And then, you know, we got like little books here in the back. Shells. Of course, you know, you see me, I'm just fast sketching it just to give it a feel so my client can get the idea. Obviously, I put a little more details into it, um, you know, not as much, but just enough so they can, you know, they can definitely see what I'm, well, where I'm trying to get at with this here. So I'm going to get rid of the background. And there we go. We got our um, cat librarian. All right, so now I'm going to do is I'm going to choose for our last one here, and uh, let's choose a good animal here. Um, let's go with an eagle. I'm going to say goodbye to the librarian. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, you know what I'm going to do? Let's make it fun this time. I'm going to choose an eagle, but I am going to choose um, uh, a ninja. Let's go with a little, a little bit extreme for the last one here, shall we? Okay. So. All right, there we go. I find this was a, a nice, cool pose. Uh, to demonstrate a ninja leaping in the air, like we uh, go like a, a kung fu movie. Let's see here, and then I'm going to choose. Um, let's see here. All right, I saw this reference. I think it works perfectly for this reference. Look at that. Yeah, good, good. And uh, what I'm going to do next is I am going to choose a head. I found this. Uh, a nice, a nice headshot. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, nice headshot there, and uh, great pose with the wings, with wingspan to go with this. So I think that's gonna look great. So let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the body first. Uh, start with the head and things like that, and let's take it up from there. I mean, something like this also is great for a great um, animal study uh, when it comes to like, if you're always drawing like humans and uh, human characters and whatnot, something like this would definitely uh, bring you out of your element in a way. So as always, I always like to start with a circle. All right. And then I'm going to do next is um, going to put in like uh, just a shape for the body. Body's kind of like curved in. This will be the buttocks there. That'll be the legs. And then of course, mm -hmm. 
that'll be where the wings will be at. May have to make some modification changes, but so far this is what I'm gonna try so I can work with. And you know, let's see here. Let's work on a little bit on to the head here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cheat real quick and I'm going to just change this. Let me see if I can find it. Just a sec, guys. All right, there we go. All right, I'm gonna picture the eyes here. The beak coming off from the center line here. Like he's charging. You know, like say I have a story where, you know, there is an assassin that somebody wants, you want me to draw an a eagle type assassin. Let me just look at the ninja again. type thing here. Better yet, let's, better yet, let's, um, I like the female pose, whatnot, so let's keep it as a female there. Open sleeve. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. This will be the waistline here. And then I'm going to place the sword here. This will be the first leg that's facing us. The black is kind of confusing me a little bit there, but I think I will work it out and see. And then this will be the next knee here. And 
and then this will be where the foot will be at. Now, of course, obviously, I'm going to make these into talons. I think that's going to look awesome. Just as a side note, just to let you guys know, I'm actually working on a, a similar uh, storyline um, doing with um, with animals, and um, it's um, it's called Prey. I'm still trying to decide on the character designs and whatnot. Reason why I'm not showing any samples in this tutorial workshop, but it's called Prey. Um, not, you know, um, like animal prey. And and it's actually about a warrior bunny who was adopted by a wolf clan. And um, being adopted by such something like that. You know, um, obviously, you're not going to have the normal uh, rabbit traits. You know, so he's going to be um, a predator, if I have to say. So imagine that a rabbit that's a um, that's a predator hunts and kills and whatnot, and it's going to be like basically. Um, like, you know, uh, you know, like, you know, animal human traits, they talk and walk and philosophy, you know, and social and stuff like that. But the rules of the animal kingdom still, um, still, uh, you know, it's in play, you know, survival of the fittest and whatnot. And, uh, so I think it's going to be pretty interesting. It's kind of it's going to be a weird dynamic, you know. Um, a lot, you know, wolves in a in a in a clan are pretty pretty much confused why, you know, they have a rabbit in their clan, and they question the the um, the head of the pack. Why, you know, and the head of the pack of the, the wolf leader pack. You know, he's basically like the father to this rabbit. And uh, and there's a reason why behind it all, too, you know, when it comes down to it. And when the story behind it all uh, actually comes to pray, um, <laughs> no pun intended, come to play, I should say not pray, come to play, um, it actually becomes pretty um, crazy uh, when it comes to the story. I really not trying to throw any uh, spoils Now I was looking at the talents. Now look at that. Now I all I did was kind of like sketch it out with the circle going down the line and utilize the same pose, the same pose here. And then I just use the reference um, looking at the animal and created kind of like a sword assassin warrior eagle. Actually, I like how this came out. This actually came out pretty nice. All right, so let me see here. Now I'm going to, um, you know, do the same thing. I'm going to, uh, Drop the, the opacity down to this. And then I'm going to um, refine the lines a little bit. Let me look at the, the head again. There we go. It's always good to have a reference. Never try to do things out of your head. And every time I try to do something out of my head, it never comes out the way I want it to. I want to add some texture.
that had like a tongue sticking out, doing the the eagle call. Does the eagle make noise? I don't, I don't even know. I think they probably do. Of course, hatching it a little bit. Start that high. I want to keep the beat just a little bit more. There we go. Kind of have like a kind of like an anime feel with the these bang spikes out that I have. I kind of like that call, that's why I kept it. Outing through the jacket or the, the outfit here. And then I'm going to put the, the belt here. That's the buckle. Now, it kind of makes me wonder how she would hold the hilt of her sword <laughs> with wings. Maybe I could say that she uses her mouth. I mean, I've seen some animes, you know, where the warrior would do it, you know, like he would have two swords, one in each hand, and then he would have one blade or sword in in his mouth between his teeth. Uh, those who ever watch One Piece, things like that, um, I, you know, um, that's um, there's a character named Zoro who actually does do that. And uh, that's, you know, that would be pretty interesting to see if I develop this character even more. Okay. This will be the leg. We go, just cleaning it up. Now, if my client wanted a, a character like this out, you know, I think you'll be very pleased. Right, let's look at those talents. Let's see here. Let's. Make some of those like those feathers.
There we go. And let's see, let's look at those wings. So I'm doing it very loosely, you know, so. I find when you do it very loosely, it's just let the pen do the work. So it's a little bit better. I mean, you have to clean it. You can always do that. And then I'm gonna try to add like a little arm, like, uh, you know, like where the, as to where the armpit is. Now, you know what I, I, what I want to add next, um, just by looking at this pose here, I actually do want to add um, that feathery tail there. Uh, let's go back on the first layer here and see if I can uh, somehow add it there. Um, I know that the uh, sword is probably going to be blocking it, but let's see if I can still do so. And I don't think it's not a problem. There we go. It looks good, right? right? So <clears throat> I'm going to go back here. There we go. Going down from the sky, found its prey. The target is in is in place, and she comes squawking from the sky. And then that's the last thing that victim sees. And when it swings down and grab him, done. There we go. That came out very cool. Let's get rid of the sketch behind it. So we'll get a better idea, picture of it. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And I didn't practice on doing this character before. This is all just freestyling on here. I like how it came out. It actually came out pretty, pretty good. I like how it came out. So on that, I just want to say that, you know, if you, you utilize references and whatnot, and, you know, we look at, um, just Google characters and whatnot and trying to see um, what works. I mean, like, again, I deal with a lot of clients where they want like certain uh, things for their stories or uh, stuff like that. Even if it has nothing to, to pertain to it, like say animals, I very rarely get animal characters to be honest with you, you know? So it's very rare I do get that, um, but let's just see here. Let's just for kick, just for one, one more. I'm going to just we have some time left on this video here. Just one more. I'm gonna do a fast sketch real quick. I'm gonna use a bear. There we go. Oh, no, a little friendly bear. No, I'm not gonna draw a yogi bear. No, don't get that out of your head. I'm not gonna go that route. Uh, let's see here. Um let me see here. Let's draw. Let me see here, an IT guy. I'm just going to randomly just, I'm just randomly going to just, uh, just 
find something on Google image. Let's see here. This is this will be a fun one because I think this one is a little bit different uh, pose, and I'm not trying to stereotype uh, IT guys and whatnot. Don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm, I'm just making this <laughs> a character study, really. Um, you know, like just go back to that storyline with the CEO lion and whatnot, and we got a bear IT guy here, and I'm not trying to say all oh, IT guys are. are, are uh, or uh, chubby, but I like this because I think one thing, you know, a bear is kind of uh, girthy and um, I would have done the same if I was using a, a elephant as the IT guy character and whatnot, but I think this would be kind of cool to work with. Um, let's see here, do I have anything with a side view? You know what I'm not gonna do, I'm just going to um, use the same view with the, um, with this bear here, and then I'll just wing it from there. So let's check it out, guys. I'm gonna do um, a bear IT guy in the same company with the line CEO. So as always, I start with drawing the circle very lightly on the page. Give me one sec, just try and set up my page. And I'll do this very fast because Let's see here, I'm just going to start with a circle. All right. Within that circle, I'm going to put another circle. Here will be where the nose will be. Right there, line with the center line, that's where the mouth, the maw will be. Bears seem to have very huge, thick skulls. The reason why I added the, the, um, the, the second circle around this small circle here uh, to show that character trait. Let's just uh, add a couple of hairs here just for fun. All right. And uh, he got his paw out. Well, let's take out the other reference. All right. Get the color and he got the, the keys to the offices so he can uh, and his uh, his um, ID card Just making a note of that. And let's see here, let's put the belly. And you know, again, you see how I'm utilizing the reference in a way where it's a different body type than the norm.
Let's shrink this down just a little bit. See, because jewelry is mainly just like molding clay a little bit. You know, you got to do a lot of uh, molding and rendering to make it look like exactly what you want it to look like. You know what I mean? So. Let's get this belt buckle here. It's like sitting down. Uh, sitting in his uh, IT God chair. No, let me not go that crazy. And then we got the laptop here. Look like he's holding a box of pizza there instead, but you know, I'm not gonna do that. This is picture and the ID. Let's look at the all right. So now let's go ahead and start messing with the opacity with this. All right, add another layer. See how I'm adding texture once again for the fur. It's not skin. Some hair coming out from the shirt because you know we want to show that this is definitely is an animal. And animals have fur depending on the type, obviously. So here I'm finding the ears there. I was going to make him bald because the other guy looked like he was eat balding too, but I was like, oh, no, nah, let me, I don't think that was going to look right on the bear. I never, you know, I haven't seen a, a bald bear, to be honest with you, and I don't think it would came out right. But I'm just using the picture as for the pose. And uh, so that's all. It doesn't have to be exactly like in the picture. I'm just basically just using this. Oh, 
Oops. They came out crooked. This is photo ID. So he can go into the the private sectors where the major made frame computers are, the servers, got some keys there. Just do this. There we go. Textures there. Now, if I was doing this in color, I'll be like, I want to, you know, I would make the screen blue, like the blue screen of death. <laughs> oh man, anyone that works on computers or have a computer see the blue screen of death, you know, that is trouble. Belt. All right, that's the desk here. All right, so pick up done here. This was fun. Let me just get rid of the sketch behind it. There we go. There's our IT guy, Bear, or I should say IT Bear. <laughs> There's a little thing there on his paw there. Yeah. So, you know, there you go. So if we, if we look back, we we had we did the, the CEO line. Then we did the librarian feline cat. It's probably a vigilante at night. Who knows? You can make up any stories you want. And then we had the ninja assassin eagle. I really like how that came out. And we did the IT bear. Just by using human references that I looked online. And then, you know, basically, if I really felt like it, I could maybe even make this into a whole series right here. You know, you never know. It's sky's the limit on the imagination. So on that note, I'd like to thank the Elmont Memorial Library for having me here once again to show you on character designing for the Summer Reads Tales of Tales of Animal Character Designs. And this is Kelly Gordon, Mikhail Supreme from Night and Day Anime Studios. Thank you and have a great day. And I'll definitely see you guys on the next drawing level.